What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I guess I should probably welcome myself back to the channel, too. I've been on a bit of an unplanned hiatus. Um, I didn't plan on taking two weeks off, but, you know, things just uh, get the better of me, and life uh, kind of crashes in on you, and, you know, things happen, and this is uh, where we're at. So, um, apologize about that, but I've had family in town for the past week and a half, so I've been spending time with them. Uh, my C++ class started through first school. Um, so that's been taking up a bit of my time, and most importantly, I guess that's that sounds bad, most importantly, um, family's pretty important, um, but uh, one of the biggest things is I've been rebuilding my void setup. Um, most of you know that I worked my void system when I was trying to do some uh, Git maintenance, and uh, so I had to move over to Artix for a little bit, and nothing against Artix, I loved it, it was a great distribution, um, it was easy to use, um, I do have a video coming out on it, um, but it's not void. Um, and coming from a guy who thinks distribution doesn't matter, that's saying a lot. Void is a spectacular distribution in my in my opinion, and I would highly recommend checking it out if you have not yet checked it out. Um, there is a bit of a learning curve to it. It's not quite uh, the same when you're not using systemd, but um, XBPS, uh, the XBPS source packages, um, void source packages, um, the run it init system is just spectacular. <clears throat> so if you haven't checked out Void, I highly recommend checking it out. I'm back in it. I love it. Um, I don't plan on leaving again anytime soon, um, barring another moronic decision on my part to do something I shouldn't be doing. That being said, now that I've got Void back up and running, I was playing around with one other little thing um, on my system. Not really on my system, more on my website. So let's actually go ahead and um, launch Firefox here. And we're going to go to my website. Most of you guys probably haven't been to my website, and this is not a plug to, hey, go check out my website, because there's really no, I don't want to say no reason to. I mean, I'd more, be more than happy to have you guys come check out my website. It is linked in all my descriptions and all my videos, um, but it's jpedmedia.com. Um, it'll take you to this page here. And all this does is kind of give you a little bit about me. Um, who am I here? And hi there, it's me, Jake. And then it just gives you a little bit of a... Um, I don't know, synopsis as to who I am and what I like to do. Um, got some little links here about what I like to do in my free time. Um, there's a few facts about me below that. And then thanks to Tom on the internet, who was gracious enough to let me use his um, code for this uh basic feature, uh, or not basic feature, this pretty cool feature, um, I actually have this little link down here that if you go to it on your on your system and click that link, it'll tell you a little bit about yourself, so that's kind of pretty, that's kind of cool, so again, thanks to Tom on the internet for being as gracious as you were to, to let me uh, kind of piggyback on your, on your uh, website design, because this design is pretty well his too, I made a few little aesthetic changes, but for the most part, I just kind of copy pasted his um, looks a little nicer than what I had before, but, you know, no offense, Tom, but I am going to be changing it up before too terribly long, because why not? It'll give me something to do. But what I wanted to cover today is, um, in this section right here, what I do in my free time. Um, obviously, I have the YouTube channel. You guys are well aware of that, because, well, we're watching it right now, so... If you click on that link, it'll give you a short little video here um, showing my channel, and then it has a link to my channel right here, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, I have the second link for the blog. Um, you see no picture there because if we click on the link to my blog, it is under construction still. Um, while I do plan on starting a blog up very soon, I don't have any blog posts in there yet, um, but if you are into blogs and like to read uh, what other people are thinking about, uh, just be on the lookout because my blog will be starting before too terribly long, and I'll be kind of sharing all kinds of stuff from just life stuff to Linux stuff to just random things that go on in my head. So um, be on the lookout for that. Lastly, what I'm here to talk about is this right here, this playing games link. And we're going to click on that. And basically, it gives you this little description here. It says, I love old school, retro, and very basic, simplistic games. I also love to use Vim. However, I need some serious help when it comes to using the Vim movement keys of H, J, K, and L. I always gravitate to the arrow keys out of frustration, so I made this to help me get used to navigating with the Vim movement keys. Maybe it can help you too. And basically what it is, is, and I am by no means saying that I invented this and this is my idea and it's great because if you Google Vim tutors and Vim, Vim key games and stuff like that, there's a million of them out there. But I thought it would just be fun to make my own. So what I've done is I've created a game of Snake that instead of using the arrow keys uses the vim keys so if we click on this link here it's going to bring you to this game of snake that's on my web page and let's turn on screen key 
And now you can see that if I use K, it's going to go up. If I use H, it's going to go left. We'll go K back up. L is going to be right. J is going to be down. So basically, what I've done is I've created this game of snake that forces me to use the Vim keys instead of the arrow keys. So that way, whenever I get on my website, I can just kind of goof around with this and um, hopefully it will uh, train my brain a little better to use the Vim keys as opposed to the arrow keys. Now, I'm not saying, you know, when you use Vim, you have to use the Vim keys, but I'm... I gotta believe when people tell me that it's more efficient to use the Vim keys because hey, your hands don't leave home row. You don't have to deal with moving back and forth between them. And you know, it's part of Vim. So may, who knows, maybe I'll never actually get efficient with them and I'll always stick to the arrow keys. But I just created this little game to maybe help me learn that uh, the Vim keys aren't quite as hard as I might expect if I just actually sit down and force myself to use them. So. I've got links over here to my GitLab, link here to my email, and a link here to my YouTube channel, and then i got to change the icon for the home button, but I've got a link here to just take you right back to um, the main page of my website as well. So if we want to look at it, let's go to my second workspace here. Um, let's go ahead and well, let's turn off screen key. I don't think I need to have screen key on anymore. Let's go ahead and zoom in, and let's CD into my website. And let's CD into JPEG Media, and then we're going to Vim into a file called games.html. As you can see, that's basically just an HTML file. Um, kind of gives you it gives you the body um, and the canvas, and you go down here, and it breaks out the game for you. Now, disclaimer here: I didn't write this game completely. Um, I did find the, a game online, a snake game online. I made a few changes to it, um, so this isn't 100% my code. Um, but I do plan on putting more games. Um, other disclaimer is, I really, really, really wish I would have written down who I got this from, you know, where I found the snake game, because I can't remember where I got it, and I, I tried to go backtrack and find the page. So if by some miracle this is your code, you're watching this video, and this is your code, please let me know so I can um, give you credit where credit is due, because this is pretty cool. I thought this was pretty cool, just this nice game of snake written in HTML and an HTML file so I can put it on my website and I can actually let other people use it too. So um, you can see it's pretty basic. There's not a whole lot to it. It's uh, what 175 lines, uh, give or take. Um, got a lot of it. We got a lot of comments in there. So um, just a pretty simple uh, HTML and uh, HTML file to add to your website to add a game. And so again, I'm going to be doing some more games and some different games on my website like this because this is the kind of quote unquote gaming I like to do. I'm not into uh, Xbox or PlayStation. PC gaming, any of that. Um, I have a SNES Mini um, at home sitting under my TV that's got about, I don't know, 300 games on it. Um, everything from Atari to um, Super Nintendo to Sega Genesis, regular Nintendo, um, but nothing fancy. Um, so I'm not, I'm not a uh, big time gamer, I'm a retro gamer, and I, I just like the easy stuff, the stuff that doesn't uh, require 100 buttons and a uh, college degree to figure out. So. That being said, that's kind of what I've had going on. I apologize again for the length of time I've been away, but, uh, you know, life gets the better of you sometimes, and, um, hey, that's that's just the way it goes. Um, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. Um, I don't really have any plans to be. You know, if by some miracle that happens and I get enough followers to where that's a possibility, then great, but that's not... I'm not counting on that. So, um, you know, I do still have a full-time job. I'm still going to school. I still got a family. So YouTube, um, as much as I appreciate you guys and I love to get videos out to you guys and, and interact with you in the comments and stuff like that, you know, my, my priorities, um, YouTube doesn't fall very high on my list of priorities. So, um, thank you for sticking with me and being patient with me. You know, I, I, again, I do appreciate every one of you. Um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and, uh, just stay safe. And thanks again for your support. God bless.